Hey everybody, it's Miss Debbie from It's Art Time. How How is everybody tonight? Tonight, what I want to do is I want to take these face masks and I want to paint two of them. I want to paint um, sunflowers to match my jacket on one. And I also would like to paint um, a butterfly. This is on the back of my journal and I love this butterfly. I don't know if you can see it because it's gold. But I'd like to paint that in some pink and you know shiny and blingy on my other one. So on this, I'm just gonna, um, I've got it on a plate just because it has that bump in the middle for your mouth and nose. So I'm just gonna start by taking a, a pointy or a little pointy flat kind of a, a little bit of a stiff brush. And I do all this stuff freehand. But I'm going to start here by making a circle and then I'm going to start just kind of sketching my petals in there. I think this is going to be really pretty. I'm not going to do anything in the middle because that's where you breathe. But I'm just kind of doing this kind of sloppy and freehand because I think it's just gorgeous like that. I'm going to go ahead and go up on the on the seam or the bias. I don't know if that's what seamstress call it. And I'm going to take it right out to the edge. And this is just going to be my sketch. Kind of like a watercolor sketch. I wanted to come on earlier. I told my buddy Ryan that we were going to be painting masks together tonight. He's in my elementary homeschool class, art class. And, buddy, I hope you're watching. If not, you can catch the replay. So I'm just kind of doing it thicker towards the top with the white because that yellow is um, transparent. So I'm kind of doing like all the shading work in the um, with the white. And it's okay if it's messy, it's black. You can like literally trace around it. I'm gonna turn it, turn it and turn it a little bit more. And just pull the colors out. And do you see how it would shade it all by itself if you just add the yellow to it? But this is kind of a t-shirt material mask, but it would work on anything cloth. So I'm just going to keep on turning it just to make it more convenient to, to pull my strokes. I like to pull my brush as opposed to push it against its bristles. So, and you know, it's a mask. So, you know, I think it can be like so fun, just like any wearable art. I mean, why not personalize them, right? Okay, so that is my sketch for this side. I think I'm going to go ahead and do some in the middle too. Because I want to put some yellow maybe right here. Okay, so there you go. There is one side. I don't know if you can see that. Now I'm going to go ahead because I want some on this side too. I want a pretty sunflower here. I'm going to do the same thing. It does not have to look exactly like that side. Like, I am not a perfectionist that way. Um, there are certain things you want that way, but this is not one of them. It's a flower, you know. So there's that. And then I'm going to put that center part in there again. Just kind of do it loosely. And then I'm going to try this again. I can't wait to do the butterfly too. I want to do a real pretty, like feminine, sparkly, pink butterfly. But on this one, I'm going to do a sunflower. Also, I want it blingy and sparkly. Um, this is Texas. And I'm going to Tennessee. So going from Houston to Tennessee, it's okay to have sparkle. So, and do you see how my um, petals aren't even? 
That's okay. Neither are regular sunflowers. And I'm gonna go back and forth as it dries. Mm, this one's not as pretty as that one. That's okay. I will make sure it's as pretty. Let's just make this one bigger. There we go, now it's as pretty. I'm gonna do it thicker again on towards the top like I did my other side. And keep doing it from the corner, getting that seam. Kind of tuck your brush in there really good. See how it looks kind of sloppy? It's okay. I don't wanna keep you all up too late, but this is really fun. Just pull it down. I've got a few things I need to paint before our trip. So excited. Okay, let's see, here's the top. I have had, let's see, Ryan and Ev both, two boys telling me, Miss Debbie, let's paint masks, which is such a great idea. I went and found these black ones, but you could do them on any color. You know, if you end up getting a spot or a stain, don't throw them away, just paint them. They're fun. I'll paint anything, I tell you. Okay, I'm gonna add some more white to that middle. I am not doing fussy painting. We're just getting it on there. I'm gonna go back to this one. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. I'm wondering if I should add any more. Cause that doesn't look like it's very much, but you do need to breathe, so that's okay. Okay, maybe we can add a second row here. Let's do the in-between petals. It's all a process. Oh yeah, in-between petals. guys hear my dog so funny oh yeah I think this is really pretty there we go do you like that let's try it on this side you just gotta kind of jump in and do it right There sure is a lot of mosquitoes out here in Texas this time of year. I think I got mobbed before I got in the door. Okay, let's see. That's not very sharp, but we'll try to make it sharp. What do y'all think? Is that pretty? Maybe just tap a couple out here. I know it's a little on the outside, but I just want it to look kind of even. That looks pretty good. I think we're going to need to do maybe a little edgy. A little edgy with the white. Because that yellow is just going to soak right in. So whatever we do in white is what's going to be yellow so I'm kind of just doing another little outside coat it'll look pretty and shaded we painted sunflowers in um, our elementary homeschool class today and they were really kind of loose pretty artistic um, sunflowers that was fun I think everybody did fantastic I'm gonna oh I probably shouldn't whiten that because that's gonna be actually dark let's whiten this part beautiful okay second coat on this side I'm just trying to sharpen up these white lines the the um the black fabric is just soaking it in but if you do it with white you'll only need a couple of coats whereas if you tried to do it with yellow you'd need a ton 
And if you feel like it's too, like the lines are too fuzzy on the outside, you could always just um, take your black, a super skinny brush like that, super skinny, and just outline in black and no one will ever see them. But I kind of like it. I, I'm um, an artist that doesn't fight um, the process. So if it's fuzzy in one part and it's fuzzy in all of them, it works, right? I'm not a fussy painter. Now my portraits are a different story. Those are something that has to be exact. But I enjoy the process, so the outcome is just a bonus. Oh, that looks a little pointy, doesn't it? Here, let's bring these two together. So I am so excited. I am having ladies come in and check in and register for our Grateful Pumpkin Party Saturday. I've had all kinds of phone calls today for our um, Simply Blessed online painting. Um, I had somebody call and say, what do you mean $10 a party? I'm like $10 a party, you purchase a ticket for $10? You can have as many people with you as you want. What we're going to do is we're going to um, get you in a private Facebook room. And we're going to keep that room open for a month. And then you can take as long as you want in that month to paint, to paint your painting. But as soon as that month is over, we're going to archive it. What do you guys think of my mask so far? Oh, I think it's upside down. There we go. Isn't that pretty? That's just the white. Now, which one did I start with? I turned it upside down. I think I'm gonna, I almost need a blow dryer. Okay, let's see what happens when we put the yellow on. I just want it to look artsy and pretty and pretty and artsy. Okay, let's take some yellow. See what happens. Hmm. I don't know if this is the right brush anymore. Let's try. Yeah, see how it's really soaking in that yellow. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. So Ryan was going to paint his mask too. I was trying to get home as fast as I could because I was trying to be on by 8. But I just didn't get home from work in time. Let's see. Ta-ya. I've never painted a mask before. That is so pretty. I need a brighter yellow though. I wish I had a really like bright sunshine, vibrant yellow. But this will match the jacket that I painted. So that's perfect. I like that. So if you if you can't get new clothes for a trip, just paint some. You know? Have you guys painted on any clothes? I know when we come back for our paint class, not this week because we're closed all next week because I'll be out of state, but the following week, I think I want the kids to all bring something to paint. And we'll do wearable art and paint class. They will love that. And the kids that don't bring anything, that's okay. I've got t-shirts. We can paint on t-shirts. We do wearable art at the studio all the time. The kids love it. Okay. I know this doesn't look great right now, but it's a process. Oh, I got a little white right there. No problem. Take my skinny brush. 
dip it in the black and look it's an eraser because it's a black um it is a black mask i almost forgot what i was saying because i was thinking of the color i was going to paint okay so i'm painting on the white i'm painting over the white with the yellow and i'm even painting on the black and let me tell you this fabric is just soaking it right up speaking of t-shirt this is t-shirt fabric i like it because it's soft and it's breathable and as long as i don't paint the center it'll stay breathable all right i've also got devin got me oh my gosh my friend devin so sweet she got me a, it's like a bedazzler. So I am definitely going to be adding some bling to this too. The painted bling and some bling bling. This is so relaxing, you guys. It sounds weird because I'm painting over the styrofoam plate. Okay. I want to get the middle too. Is this pretty? Like, it looks terrible right now, but it won't when I'm done. I'm just trying to get my layers on. See that? It's soaking wet. Okay. Now, let's see. Should I put a little more yellow? No, it needs to dry more. I wonder if I should go back and forth with my butterfly to this. That's going to be so cute. I'm so happy. Okay, so rinse your brush. Do I have a little wider brush than this? I wonder if I can use. This is too wide. Let me just do some brush adjustment here. Is this one too bold? How about this one? Hmm. Let's try it. Let's just be bold and see what happens. If it's too big, we can always change the brush. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can do it sideways, too. I'm going to put some orange in there. Just kind of hit it. Flick it out. Just touch the edge of that and just flick it out in the middle. Do it all the way around. Believe it or not, it's pretty wet. You can barely see the colors. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and tap some in the middle here. Tap, tap, tap. Just kind of flick it out, like start from the center and just kind of flick it out. And it's on black, so it might look a little bold at first, but it's going to be really muted when you do that. Okay. I know it looks messy, but it's a process. You should have seen the pretty sunflowers we did today. I'm going to post all that the next few days. We had quite a day. I had overlapping classes today. I've never had that before, but it was fun. We had camp starting at 9, 
And then our special needs class came um, from 11 to 12. Beautiful babies. And the kids really enjoyed them, um, each other. And then we um, had my five and six year olds class. That was over at 1.30. And then camp was over at two. And then at 2.30, our elementary class started, our elementary homeschool class, and then, and, which is absolutely full. I love that class. And then when that was over at 4, our junior high, high school, and advanced art class started at 4.30 till 6. So that's been a busy art day. One beautiful busy art day okay okay so we did what we did on the other side the same thing let's pounce some of this orange in there I was kind of hoping it would be brighter but that's okay I'm gonna remember that for the pink butterfly and you know how it is it's a process if there's anything you don't like at the end just fix it I mean it's like no big deal Okay, so there's that side. I really want some red in there because I want it to match my jacket. And my jacket has red thread. I think I'm going to go, is that too tiny? Oh, I think I'll go with this. How's it look, Dad? Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a little bit of some little red flicks. Oh yeah. Looks like a little kid painted it. Da -da. So I'm just taking the red and doing the same thing. I'm like kind of starting from the middle. And it's absorbing. So I'm going to turn this up a little bit, guys. So that it's kind of a normal way for my hand motion to go. And I'm literally just like flicking it out and tapping. And I'm going to put some of these, I'm going to tap some of this in there. I go back to this one. That's a lot of back and forth. I'll do some more red. You okay, Papa? Mm -hmm. Oh, poor Hurley. Yeah. He's getting to be an old man, Papa. Okay. So, I'm going to do the same thing on this side, and I'm literally starting from the little points in between and just flicking it up and you can see remember how bright the orange was and it's as it's soaking in it's getting lighter and so later i can add more of the yellow and more of the orange if i want to it's a lot of back and forth i want it to look artistic you know like not fussy not that I don't, the butterfly will probably be fussy. But this is a sunflower, it's okay. Okay. A lot of flipping back and forth. I want to get it in here. Okay, so what are we going to do next? How about some. I want to maybe mix a little yellow and white, and that'll give it some more opacity. Kind of just, oh yeah, there we go. Same thing happened on the jacket. Oops, that's too white. Let's make that a little more yellow. Oh, that looks good when it mixes this too. That was totally by accident. I like it. Happy accidents. Well, hopefully this works, you guys. 
It may just be a flop, who knows? It's live. It wouldn't bother me a bit, actually. I just wanna see if it'll end up beautiful. Okay. So let's tap some of this lighter yellow in the middle. I think the orange has disappeared. That's what I kind of want to put back as the orange. Let me go ahead and try this brush. There we go. I think the black's just absorbing it. How's it going, Papa? Does it look okay? Yes. I can't see. I can't read your comments until after Oh, that's really pretty. Do you like it? Okay, let me try the other side now. I've got to catch it up back and forth. That one's much brighter, huh? So I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to mix some white and yellow. Let's see if I can brighten this up first. You know how when you imagine something done when you're creative and you think it's going to be one way but it's totally something else that's exactly what's happening here that's okay i needed to do the sunflower before the butterfly for sure just because i wanted to see if it would you know how the fabric would react so far it's okay it's a little more t-shirty than I expected. White t-shirts are a lot easier though because the color is already white. Okay, let's see. I keep getting bit by our skeeters. I have the orange. I have the orange. Orange. Put a little fire in there. Really messy painting. Uh oh. I forgot to turn off the. I forgot to put on the do not disturb. Sorry, Adira. I love you, hermana. Okay. So, before I put the darks in, I'm going to put in the lights, I think. So, switch. I'm going to use a super skinny. Oh no, I'll just use the skinny. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? And then I'm just going to add some white little dots in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and put the highlights in. And it's literally boops, just like boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. Da, 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 da. And it's just like loosely painted. There's like nothing perfect about this. Just beauty. Like fun. Fabulous. That just hit a wrinkle. <laughs> Fun, fabulous beauty and look at that isn't that pretty okay we haven't even got the bling on it yet okay so there's that now let's start with some the light brown from the red the red in that dark ring let's just pounce some of that brown in there I don't know if you can see this on camera because I can barely see it with the naked eye. We're going to bounce some brown in there. Now we're going to take the chocolatey, chocolatey brown and we're going to go from that outside. There we go. We're going to get that middle nice and dark brown. Mm 
Isn't that pretty? Okay, we'll put some more white in there to highlight it, but for now, let's put some division in between those petals. It's kind of the same process we did at school today, or at its art time. Oh, that was too fat. Oh well, it's okay. Just putting in some details between with the dark brown. This is the part I'm kind of concerned about. I don't want it to mix with my sparkles when I put my sparkles on there. So there's the dark brown. I hope I didn't do too much. Let's separate it by black. So this wiggle out. A nice wiggly line from the middle. This is great if you have any white spots you don't want anymore, like right there. And I'm just going to do a couple of little black lines in between, just a smidge. There we go. Doesn't even look yellow anymore, guys. Let's put some more yellow in there. Like, let's just slap it on there. Just because once it soaks in, you won't even see it anymore. So let's make it nice and thick. Oh, that's really thick. It's all right, it'll soak in. You won't even barely see it. That's really pretty. I don't know if you can see all the colors, but. Just back and forth, back and forth. Let's see. I'm gonna put some more red in there. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Put some more red in there so it'll match my jacket. Gotta be, gotta have something to match the jacket, right? Beautiful hand painted sunflower. Okay. A little white. I wonder if I should put some leaves. I think that's golden on that side. I am going to have to put, maybe I'll clean up the fuzzies with the black. Let's see. Oh, there you go. The same thing happened on the jacket. Once you put the black in there, I cleaned the lines right up. I don't think they all need it, but a couple of them do. Very pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna let this side rest a bit. I think I'm gonna put some white dots on there first though. Just kind of some boops. Just for some artistic flair, as I want the white to really pop the bling. There we go, isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see that. But there's one side before the bling. Now let's repeat it on this side. Look at the difference. Well, oops, I see where I got my white. A little shiny right now okay so where do we leave off there were we mixing I think we we're mixing the white and yellow right to bring this up yeah bring this up oh no it looks like I already did that I won't hurt to do it a little a little more 
So we did the red. So let's do the chocolate brown for the dots here. What do you think, Ryan? Miss Debbie's painting her mask. Okay, so we're gonna go to the dark brown now, and I'm just gonna get that middle around the outside, and I'm just tapping. I'm just loading my brush, and I'm just tapping. I think I like this flower middle better, actually. And then from there, you want to outline your petals. And don't worry if it's too thick or too thin. Consistency is more important. Like if it's too thick on one, make them all thick. If it's too thin on one, make them all thin. And then it'll look like you did the whole thing on purpose. Wow, look at how the difference between those and then these. It really sharpens them up. Once you put the little outline in there, and this is with the brown. We're doing our undershades, our undercoats. Okay, so let's put in our white highlight. Let's put some, just some little your little dots for your sunflower seeds. Put some little dots here and there. And then we've also got, remember our highlights, just boop, put that white in there. Oh, I love this. Put your white in there. I wonder if Ryan stopped watching YouTube long enough to hop on and paint with me. He painted with me today. He painted a beautiful sunflower with the rest of the class. They did amazing. That's what gave me this idea. Okay, so now we want a little, let's put some like, some white dots. I like the color in this one. But, oh, I forgot. We need to throw some a lot of yellow on this. Let's get that big burst of yellow going. It's not going to be this yellow that's going to soak in, but I really want the brightness of it. It just really does not show on the camera, but it's pretty. It probably just shows craziness on the camera. That's okay. some yellow if you guys end up painting your masks you gotta show me I want to see pictures okay that one doesn't look as pretty as the other one I think because it doesn't have the brightness I'm gonna just throw some orange in there it is on the same mask so you're gonna want them to look kind of similar Ooh, I like that throw some red I'm literally just tapping it, flicking, tapping. I'm like not even thinking about where it's going really. Oh, that's what I did on the other side was I added more red. Okay, let me put my little white dots back in. Here and there. Do do. Okay, so what am I missing? I'm missing the black. So what I did on the other one to kind of show a little division was to divide the center with a little black wiggly line through the brown. And then just a little ways up with the black, like just a little ways. You don't need to go all the way up with it. And black is a little strong. 
Okay, now I'm also going to trim like any of the fuzzies. See how fuzzy that is? Now if I go in with the black and just clean that up. Wow, look at how sharp it is now. Much better. Oops. I may have taken a little too much off that, but that's okay. I see this side. This is fuzzy. Not anymore. Fuzzy. Not anymore. Okay, so there's my sunflowers. But what I want is bling. Do you guys see that? I want bling, but I think it's too wet for bling. We can try. Why not? This is going to be the prettiest part. So this is the big bling. Do you see that? Whoa. That's the big bling. Are you okay back there? Okay, now I'm going to take some of this and just put it on there. Oh my goodness. Look at that bling. Do you guys see it? I don't know if they can see it in the camera, babe. Oh my gosh, look how you can. You couldn't see it with the jacket, that's what I was asking. I Maybe. can't see it. Oh, you can't see it. Can you guys see that in the middle? Look at how pretty. I love that. So I think I'm going to put that on the end or the inside of each of the petals. Ooh, that's a big piece. It's okay. I'm using it. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Okay. I'm just going to push that down. Put it here. I love the bling. I hope I'm not like messing with the integrity of the flower though. Because it's wet. Do you like it, Dad? Mm -hmm. Is it pretty? Okay. I'm not putting it where I usually would because it's wet, but I kind of liken it. That's what you do with art. You just experiment. If you don't like it, then change it. That's the beauty of it. I've got a big piece that's wanting to hang on. I love this kind of glitter because it's actually got um, like pieces of gold foiling in it. I might add curly cues to this later, but I'm not quite sure yet. I want to see how it dries first and right now it's pretty soggy. I don't know if you can even tell if it's a sunflower on camera anymore but I think it's beautiful. I can hear her reading. Okay. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Uh, you can? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to turn around and do this side. Okay, so I'm going to need more gold. So many mosquitoes. Let's see. I always like to just squish them out the side. And this is um, Glitterific. 
It's folk art, and I love it. It's good stuff. It's thick. It's not like when you buy this stuff, the um, thin, the thin glitter glitter glue gold, which I'll still use some on this, but it'll be a fade for in the background. This I want actually on the flower, and it's very foily. It's very thick. It's not. It's it's stable. Where this, when you use this, it'll roll right off the kids' canvases if it's not dry. I I like much rather use this, but it's 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 a lot more expensive. So I save it for my my fun projects and their fun projects. Tomorrow, we are going to be doing, in camp, we're going to be doing mosaics. The kids don't know it yet, but I pulled out some teddy bear forms. So we're going to be um, mosaicing teddy bears tomorrow. They're going to love it. Oh my gosh, Lily's going to love it. The Brick and Briley's going to love it. Celeste is going to love it. I can't wait to see like the glass they pick out, um, how they're going to design it, or if they're just going to do a multicolored colored teddy bear. I don't know. We haven't done mosaics in camp in a while. Let's see. I want to do one too. Actually, you know what, honey? I think there's only a few teddy bears left. So, I mean, I already laid theirs out. They're they're already set up for in the morning. But if I have to, I'll just take take one off the display and make one with them. Okay, I think that about does it for this one. What do you guys think? Let me hold it up so you can see this side. And there is my sunflower mask. What do you guys think? Do you like the sparkle? And that's it. That'll conclude tonight's live. Thanks, everybody, and have a great evening. <laughs> Bye.